All right, so this time we're going to be talking about inserting new sprites into Super Mario World. Uh, it's a bit more complicated than, uh, than inserting extra graphics, mainly because we're going to have to have the help of Sprite Tool. Uh, you can download this from Super Mario World Central. Uh, just like last time, I'll be linking down below uh, to the file just to make sure you have the same version and stuff that I am using. It should be the newest one. Uh, sprite Tool comes included with a whole bunch of sprites, as you can see here. All sprites need an ASM and a config file. And both of those should be placed in whichever folder makes sense. So if you're, uh, you're inserting a sprite, both of those should be placed into the sprites folder. There's also things like the generators and shooters folder, uh, which you can place things into. What we're going to want to do, though, uh, is you, just, you see that program called Sprite Tool there. You don't need to worry about that too much right now. We're going to need to create a text file in the same folder, uh, in the sprite tool folder, um, called sprites.txt. We're just going to kind of modify this readme file here. And we're going to name it sprites.txt. And we're going to save that. Uh, and that's what you're going to use to create a list of the custom sprites that you want inserted into your ROM. Uh, so if we go in here, uh, this is what we're going to be editing now, to do that, if you look at the example of another hack that I have, it uh, shows exactly how that needs to be laid out with the hexadecimal number on the left and then the sprite name dot config on the right. So that's what we're going to do just to kind of demonstrate how a sprite is inserted. And you have to make sure you have that space in between uh, the hexadecimal number and the name. So if you go to sprites, you can look through them and just kind of decide which one you want to insert. Um, we can choose one of the ones that are built in, or we can kind of grab one from Super Mario World Central and drop those files in here. The main thing is that the files are here. Uh, that's in order for it to work. But we're going to do a Boomerang Bro. So exactly as it is there, Boomerang Bro, and then we're going to add .config at the end. So we want custom sprite 00, 00 to be Boomerang underscore Bro dot CFG. And we're going to save that as sprites.txt. And when we insert um, the sprites to our ROM, it will look at that list, and that's how it will know exactly which sprites we want. So we're going to need to take our Super Mario World ROM, place it inside of the Sprite Tool folder, and open up the executable, the, uh, the application file called Sprite Tool. Our ROM file name is the name of your ROM, .smc. It's always .smc. Uh, I used SMW as my ROM name because it's best to keep it simple. And Sprite List file name will be sprites.txt. Make sure both of those are in the Sprite Tool folder. Um, if you do that, it should tell you that everything has been inserted successfully, which means that our Boomerang Bro is now inside of our Super Mario World hack. Uh, you may want to take um, yeah, the last thing actually that you're going to want to worry about is we need to get the graphics into the ROM, just like last time. Uh, the graphics aren't inserted along with the sprite. You need to do that separately. So we're going to look through uh, the graphics that are included here with Sprite Tool. If you download a custom sprite from Super Mario World Central, it will include the graphics. But we're going to take the Hammer Bros graphics pack here, which you'll notice says SP3. Um, and we're going to copy that over into our extra graphics folder. You might realize right now uh, that it doesn't look the way that an extra graphics file needs to be in order to insert it into our ROM. If you remember from the last part, we're going to have to reformat that. So as you see, we're going to paste it here and it has to be in the format of, of uh, EX, GFX, and then a hexadecimal number. But just remember that it says SP3. So uh, let's do uh, EX, GF, uh, why not B2? Uh, you might want to spread them out a bit. What I usually do is I'll put like, I'll start the foreground graphics with a certain number and I'll start sprites with a certain number so that they don't get confused. You might want to keep a text file of what each um, extra graphics file represents. But now that we've done that, uh, we are going to want to put our Super Mario World ROM back in the same file as Lunar Ma uh, back in the same folder as Lunar Magic. We're going to want to open up Lunar Magic, and we're going to want to insert our graphics to, to get those Hammer Brother or Boomerang Brother graphics into the ROM. So now we have our graphics in the ROM. Um, our sprite is actually in the ROM, and now we have to go to SP3. And just like as we did with the foreground graphics, we're going to want to change SP3 to B2 because that is where the Boomerang Brother graphics are located. I'm going to press OK there. And uh, just to show you, if you go up here to the 8x8 tile editor, you'll see that now um, in our graphics are Boomerang Brothers. Um, unfortunately, what this might do is when you change graphics, whether foreground or sprites or anything like that, it will sometimes make certain sprites incompatible. Um, so you need to keep that in mind that you can't use like all the sprites you know, in the game, in the same level at the same time. You will need to make some compromises. The next thing you want to do is click that shell at the top to change it to sprite entering mode and press insert on your keyboard. In command, you want to enter the number of the sprite that you want to enter, which corresponds to what it was in sprites.txt. And you want to enter either two or three where it says extra bit. Uh, for Boomerang Brother, it's two, but I'll show you in a little bit um, why it might be three, but it's always two or three when you're dealing with, uh, with custom sprites. 
so okay. And that puts this little weird thing in the top left corner. It looks like an X in a box. Uh, but that's okay. It doesn't mean that we made a mistake. You'll see if you go over it, it says it's sprite number zero X2, which means custom sprite number zero. Uh, if we save that, and if we uh, look at our sprites list, you'll see that it's, it's different from the normal sprite zero, and that's because it's a custom sprite. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up our game. We're going to go through all this crazy stuff. And if we did it right, we should have a boomerang bro in our level. And there you go, except he's not going to work quite right because there's one thing that we still didn't do. You'll see he kind of fails every time he's about to throw the boomerang. Some sprites need to be inserted along with other sprites in order for them to work correctly. And Boomerang Bro is uh, one of those for which that is the case. Although otherwise, your Boomerang Bro is actually working perfectly right now. Uh, what you want to do is you want to go back to Sprite Tool. And what you can do is you can actually open up uh, the ASM files that come along with sprites and you will sometimes get information at the top of them. You'll notice there um, it says big fat note this sprite needs to be inserted along with the boomerang sprite very next. It also says that the extra bit is no. That's what tells you if you need to enter the extra bit as a two or three. Two, uh, No means two and yes means three so remember that. Always check for that when you're inserting your custom sprites. Uh, but as you see we need to insert the, uh, the boomerang uh, just on its own as the next sprite. So we're going to do boomerang as 01, and that will insert the boomerang into the game, which is the item that the boomerang brother throws, because there's not normally a boomerang uh, weapon in the original Super Mario World, which is why we need to do that. So we're going to, you know, put our ROM in the folder again, exactly as we did last time, ROM name.smc, make sure it's in the same folder, sprites.txt. Uh, now all of them have been inserted successfully. Take your ROM. Or, uh, yeah, yeah, take your ROM, place it back in the main folder, open that up, and give it a whirl. And this time our boomerang bro should work correctly. And he should throw his boomerangs just as he does in Mario 3. I don't really have it on screen here, but there you go. And everything works perfectly. And that is kind of the gist of inserting a sprite. It works exactly the same with custom sprites. You take them, you put the ASM and config files in the proper folders within Sprite Tool, and you insert your graphics just as you do uh, with any other graphics. I know that was a really kind of brief and quick kind of thing, uh, but I hope it helps you out. And just experiment around with it a bit. And if you have any questions, please don't be afraid to ask. So thanks, and uh, I hope that helped.